Eyewitness News is tracking Dorian this morning. A view from the International Space Station shows just how big the storm is. The massive Category 5 hurricane has already devastated parts of the Bahamas, and now people living along the Atlantic coast of Florida are watching closely as it slowly heads their way. This includes a family from Massachusetts living in that part of Florida. They spent much of their holiday weekend preparing for the worst. Let's head over to Eyewitness News reporter Erica Ritchie, who shares their story. Yeah, Julianne, good morning. This is the family, the Savard family, originally from Uxbridge, now living near West Palm Beach. They have been boxing and boarding up in case Dorian batters down on their coastline in Florida. But one of the biggest things they've done is this message right here. They say it is the best prep work they could do. Take a listen to what it says. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds beat and blew against the house, yet... It did not fall because it was built on a foundation of the rock. All right, Jeremy Savard, his wife Tori, and their daughters clinging to their faith in God as the uncertainty and unpredictability of Dorian continues. That scripture verse that was written on the garage door, a comfort for them, they say, but not the only prep work they're doing. Dad Jeremy says since last week, they've been getting supplies, covering windows, packing priceless possessions, and lifting household items up off of the floor. And now they're getting ready to pack the car, taking no chances, no matter what Dorian decides to do. We are headed out of town for the sole reason that I don't want my children to have the impact of the, the traumatic noise that comes from going through a hurricane. And it was our meteorologist, Tori Goshi, that spoke with the Savards via Skype. He asked one of their daughters what keepsake items she went ahead and packed in the car as they prepare to evacuate. Uh, what she answered might surprise you because it has nothing to do with electronics. It's up on our website right now, WPRI12, uh, excuse me, WPRI.com and the WPRI12 News app. Go ahead and check it out. I think you'll be interested in what she had to say.